Good morning, everybody, on this Wednesday. Chris Allen here on the Sam Channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Hey, we've got a clear start this morning, but it's a cold one and even a few degrees colder than I actually forecast it would be. Yeah, it's that cold. It's cold. Cold, 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 cold. Very cold this morning. Uh, here at 645 as I record this podcast here on the Sam channel. Uh, it is the 3rd of January, and here we go into, uh, well, we're halfway through the week, and we're not seeing much of anything going on. We're going to get uh, some weather coming in for this weekend and the beginning of next week, which I'll uh, detail here in just a minute. Right now, all we're seeing is some high clouds beginning to move in from our southwest. Skies are clear this morning, and uh, that therefore, that's the reason why we're seeing temperatures in the 20s and even some teens this morning. Ooh. Yes, I told you, it's that cold, but those clouds are going to mix with the sun today. It's going to be kind of like the last couple of days where we see a little bit of sun, some clouds, a pretty quiet day overall. For us here in Southern Kentucky, I uh, don't see any rain or anything else as far as that's concerned, as, uh, you know, moisture, uh, just some high clouds that are passing by and those will be with us as we go through the day today. Uh, but the temperatures this morning is probably the big story uh, with cold, very cold temperatures. This is the Kentucky Mesonet reporting stations and <laughs> lots of purple. I don't like the purple because that means it's really cold. As you see, 18, 18.3. Does that 0.3 make you feel just a little bit warmer than 18? Yeah, I thought so. No. <laughs> at the uh, Corvette plant. That's the uh, sensor there at the Corvette plant. 18.3 degrees. Whew. Yeah. 21 the sensor down at the Ag Expo Center. Then you go up to Woodbury in Butler County near Morgantown. It's 22, really 21.7 rounded off. Uh, 21 up in Hart County. You've got 30. A warm spot is uh, over in Metcalf County in Edmonton. Then you have a few miles away down near the river in Cumberland County near Berksville. 17 degrees. <laughs> well, that is extra cold. So if you think it is colder, feels like it's colder this morning than it was yesterday morning, you would be correct. So it got a little bit colder than we had uh, forecast, but it's going to get back. Uh, I think we're going to get back into the 40s today. Uh, maybe even mid 40s, thanks to a more southerly wind, uh, could help us warm up in whatever sunshine that we get today through the clouds. Here's a look at the model blender. And if you're looking for warmer air, it's not necessarily in the forecast. As I mentioned yesterday, we're going to stay in this uh, in the 40s pretty much throughout the next. 10 to 15 days, uh, low to mid 40s. Then we see some peppered in an upper 40 here and there, like Friday. Uh, and then we see a couple of 50s for Monday, Tuesday of next week. And that's when a robust system is forecast to come in and bring us a lot of rain and wind. Wind is going to be a big deal with that system Monday and Tuesday. Then we cool back down into the forties, uh, a 50 showing up maybe next Thursday. This takes us almost through the middle of January. What you're looking at right here. Now, again, this is a blend as, as you put ingredients in a blender and then you blend it up and then you get the outcome of whatever drink or food, whatever you're mixing out of the blender. Same thing happens here. Computer forecast models go in, blend it up, and then it averages out. So in this case, 
we're looking at mainly 40s. Our average high is 46. So you see a lot of temperatures right there about average, but you see some that are just a little bit warmer, little blips here and there, but nothing majorly cold coming in. It's going to stay seasonably cool. We'll just call it that. Um, so when it does rain like this weekend and then Monday, Tuesday of next week, we do get a little bit warmer, but that's typical of, uh, systems like that that come in. So we'll, uh, cool back down after they pass. Speaking of systems, let's, uh, take a look at what's coming. Now I can tell you the next several days, pretty quiet. I don't see any big deals coming in, nothing major. I know there's a lot of talk about snow and all of that. If you, if you watch my weather or Darius's weather this morning, or, you know, some of our products, we're not on the hype machine. There's a lot of every time, every single time somebody mentions snow, somebody gets on the hype machine and just builds and builds and builds likes, clicks, shares, and that's all they want to clickbait. And then, then it goes away and they can't answer for it afterwards. They're just like, it's a drive by forecast and they're not responsible for if the, if it goes wrong, at least somebody like me will say, I got it wrong. So in this case, it's mostly rain for us. I'll just tell you that. And here's why. Let's go look at the maps and you're going to see high pressure in control. Pretty, pretty strong 1023 millibar high pressure. We've got these little piddly lows back to the West. They don't mean much of anything. They're going to mean a change in the wind direction. Once it comes by, we'll go from Southwesterly winds to a more North to Northwest wind. As we get into the day on Thursday, it will be a feeling of maybe just slightly cooler with that north wind, but everything's real quiet. Any of the uh, snowy or wintry type weather is going to stay well north and east of us with that little weak, as I called it, piddly system. But the bigger system coming in, you can see it west of us. This is the one that's going to come in for Friday night into Saturday. And this update doesn't go that far, but here you see it getting well. But even there, it's still at uh, 1,010 millibars. It's not strong. It's not deep. But there's enough moisture working into it that, you know, on the north side, as you see there where it's colder, there will be some snow. And then on the south side, there will be rain. We're going to be right on that face, right on the border. As usual where we see somebody's going to get a little snow shower activity out of it, some flurries, fly-by flurries and all that. The rest of us are just going to get rain. It's just not going to be that big of a deal, this one. Now, the one coming in for Monday and Tuesday, uh, that one bears watching because it could become something more significant. Right now, the significance is going to be rain and a lot of rain, we could be looking at, uh, you know, two inches or more of rain. We'll get some yes, Friday night and Saturday, maybe a half inch to an inch, but two inches plus, I think is likely with the system coming in Monday night, Tuesday and the wind, that's going to be the second thing we've got to watch, uh, because some of the, uh, the winds transferred down upper winds transferred down to the ground. If that happens, we could be looking at some pretty big wind gusts on Monday and Tuesday, not severe weather. That's going to be way down to the South along the Gulf coast, but we will get a lot of wind out of that system because it's really robust. So that one is the one that I'm really watching for the beginning of next week. In the meantime, I'm on the radio now until 10 o'clock this morning. It's Sam. 100.7 100.7 classic hits, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, early 2000s. And then, of course, tonight on News 40, WNKY 5, 6, and 10 with your weather and uh, an update on all of this. In the meantime, have a great Wednesday. God bless you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.